Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Coach. Good afternoon, Leskovich. You can hear me? Yes, now, but something's... Try it now. Can you hear but, us? Yeah, I can hear you. You can hear me, right? Yes, but Abhijit Bhai is now trying to fix something to have better connection. Okay. Now? Yep. Can we begin? Yes. Okay, perfect. Welcome all for today's Kerala Blasters PC. Let's start with Krishnan. Hi, coach. Hi, let's go. Hello? Am I audible? Hello? Coach, can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you, but I guess there's some technical error from their side. Okay. Coach, can you hear us? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Then go ahead. Yes. Hi, Coach. Hi, let's go. I'm Krishnan from Gorson to go. Uh, before I start, yeah. Uh, before I start, I just wanted to uh, tell that uh, Coach uh, Sukamano, uh, Ivana Shai. <laughs> <laughs> Sukamano, Krishna Chetha. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, it just went viral, so I couldn't reply at that point of time because some connection issue. Uh, so I just thought about uh, telling you this today. Uh, okay. it, it was my bad Malayali, don't worry. No, no. Uh, people were asking, like, uh, people ask, like, you, you are, you are, like, uh, very linguistic. You know, some seven languages. You are learning Malayalam from DJ and all. So that's why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I will just come to my questions. Like, um, so we, we have a lead of one zero, and uh, uh, the second leg is uh, the uh, to qualify for the final. So, so and Jamshedpur is a really well, coach team, uh, probably the best team in the league. Uh, so, um, is that is your job like? It's, is it difficult to uh, like? Is it your main job to uh, know to say uh, for players to just um, try to preserve the lead and play for the 90 minutes? Is, because if you do that, then they have a far better chance of qualifying. Being uh, just one zero is a fickle lead. Well, we, we don't even look uh, anymore at the last game. Uh, even that result 1-0 doesn't give us no guarantee, uh, no security for tomorrow's game. Tomorrow's game is a new game. It's a new day. We have to play with uh, fully, uh, fully concentration and uh, focus on our things that uh, we want to achieve and show on the pitch, and that's it. So uh, that was one leg in the semi-finals, of course, when you play in a knockout phase, this uh, under the 80 minute duel, you have to take uh, in consideration many things. So tomorrow's game is uh, a new, new, new moment. So one zero from the last game doesn't give us nothing. So we already forgot about that. We don't even uh, think about that. Tomorrow we are starting our game like it's zero zero, like we're playing finals. So that's that's it. Actually, every game since we started this competition for us was like that because we don't. We don't expect uh, nobody to help us. We don't expect nobody to give us uh, fouls or no. No, we, we have to enter the fight. It will be a physical fight. It will be even harder and more difficult than the last one. So, and uh, you know, that will be it. We are enjoying our last week in, uh, in Goa and, uh, you know, let's play a game and uh, we'll see what, what's the outcome. Okay. Coach, keep going. Like, uh, any injury updates? Everyone is fit. 
Uh, no, let's say, uh, uh, except uh, Dene Chandra, everybody is available for tomorrow's game. Uh, thank you, Coach. One question to let's go. Uh, you are like uh, uh, having really good partnership with uh, for me uh, in the defense, and you haven't uh, like uh, considered very less goals uh, when you are playing with for me. So, how do you think uh, uh, your partnership is uh, developing, and uh, how what do you think about for me as a player? It's not. Uh, we play very good. Uh, we have a lot of clean sheets. Uh, we play very solid in defense, and uh, you know, for me, it's a young player who, who show a lot of quality. And uh, he he work every training, every every game. Give the give your the best. Give everything. He's very good player, and he deserve be here in national team also. And uh, it's a big pleasure uh, play with him. But uh, we have also a lot of. Uh, uh, players, defenders who, who who can also play play. You see, we, we have we change. I don't know, maybe four or five playbacks. Everybody who play show that uh, he deserves. Uh, thank you, coach. Uh, thank you. Let's go. Uh, all the best for tomorrow. And hope hope we meet again for the final press conference. Thank you, Krishna. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Krishna. We have Ashwati next. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, Coach and Marco. Congrats on the win. Hello, Ashwati. Hi, Coach. Um, I'm Ashwati from Halfway Football. So I'll ask to Marco first. Uh, Marco, can you say a few words about your experience in India so far? But for me, it's a positive experience. I have a lot of positive experience here, and uh, I'm very happy we, we fight for the final. Uh, we had a good season, and uh, I'm happy to, to be a small part of Kerala. Oh, okay. Um, hi, coach. So, after the game, uh, Jamshedpur FC head coach uh, told the media that uh, Kerala Blasters were celebrating like they won the World Cup. So, do you have any comments on that? Yeah, but actually, we celebrate every game like that because uh, I just mentioned every game for us is a, a fight. We are, uh, you know, seeing our uh, spot in, uh, in the playoffs. We are underdogs. We are, uh, you know, we are not the favorites. And, uh, of course, seeing the fact that we, uh, we have won against the team who had seven victories in a row, who won the league, of course, for us is uh, it's a good achievement. So, uh, you know, every game we celebrate like that, every victory, because we know that nothing what we achieve uh, was offered us or was given... Uh, given to us just like that. We have to fight for that. And of course, when you fight for those things, when you when you achieve victories, I think you have to celebrate. Even we know that it was only the, uh, the first cup. So even tomorrow, we know that our opponents, they are favorites. We are favorites. And, uh, you know, we will play the game, try to play a solid game, try to be a tough opponent, like I was mentioning in the beginning of the season, to beat. So, you know, that's the, the circumstances and the situation like that now uh, oblige us to, uh, to fight till the end and uh, hopefully to celebrate. So, uh, of course, it's uh, from the opposite side, uh, everybody has his own opinion. I respect uh, everyone's opinion. So, what? Uh, we cannot, we cannot plan. We cannot, let's say, uh, control uh, the opponent's side. So we are focused on things that we have to do and we have to to, to say. So let's go tomorrow. Tomorrow it will be even a stronger fight. It will be even more physical. It will be even uh, with more pressure, especially on the referees. Uh, and what I find really odd that, and I'm really sorry that the referees will decide. Uh, the outcome of the of the next games it's it's really bad for uh for football for india football in total that with so many mistakes you know that the referees decide the, the winners and that they're not brave to make decision in certain moments to give yellow and red cards and that's 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 what makes you a little bit frustrated and uh give a, uh, gives you a bad feeling so tomorrow we'll see tomorrow we'll see it will be again a new fight it will be again a physical game ugly game but anyway, we'll be ready for that. We'll see tomorrow. 
Thank you, Coach and Marco. All the best for the game. Thank you, Ashwati. Thank you. Thank you, Ashwati. Coach, I have a question on behalf of Abid Ali from Foot and Ball. So, first of all, one of your biggest fan, Askar, who is paralyzed yes. from an accident, wants to say hi to you and wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. And the question is, we have a goal lead from the first leg, considering the various factors like a risk of suspension for some of the plays. Can we expect a similar game or a different tactic for the second game? Well, actually, both teams uh, have shown this season uh, consistency in a, in a tactical approach. I think that tomorrow there will be no different. It will be even more physical and even more fight and more pressure on the referee, especially on shouting, screaming, and uh, especially telling referees all these bad things and these poor guys, they're under pressure, they, they're not ready to make their decision and give yellow and red cards, especially when they put them under pressure. So from our side, we want to be disciplined. We want to be a team who respects all decisions, want to go with the flow. So, of course, from our side, we will do everything uh, possible on the pitch to achieve the qualification. That's, that's all. We are fighting for the same cause. We are fighting for the finals. So from the other side, I think it will be quite similar game. But with more physical power, more duels, uh, more pressure, uh, and then we'll see. Then we'll see. We hope for the best. Okay, coach. Thank you so much. Leskovic, you have an, one question. You have had various CV partnerships over the season experience with promising youngsters like Bijoy and Home Pam. How was the experience, and how do you take the mentor role with youngsters? But what I say, we have this player have a lot of quality, quality and uh, work every time so hard. Uh, it's a young talent player from Indian, uh, and uh, what I say, for me play now very good. Uh, BJ also uh, have a lot of good good games this season, and uh, uh, we show our quality for all season that we are very good, very good organized. We fight for every every ball, every game, give the best. And this is our rules, what we respect all season. And this is one of the reasons why we are here. Thank you so much. Now we have a question from Arjunan. Yeah. Um, good afternoon, coach. Good afternoon, Lesko. Hello. Arjunan from Silis. Yeah. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the first leg win. So Thank I'll you. start with, yeah, I'll start with Lesko. Hi, Lesko. Um, what's what was your uh, thought about the Indian centre backs when you signed for Kerala Blasters, and now what is your feeling about them? When I signed, I don't know too much about uh, both of these, but when I when I come here and when I see uh, how how this player is physical, how this player uh, have mentally power, how these players uh, training every every training. I see that uh, we have a lot of quality and uh, potential. Uh, now, now we are, we are very happy because we are in top situation. We, we, we fight for the final. We, we have good result from first game, but we must stay humble. We must stay calm. Tomorrow we have a very important game. We, we must prepare well, and I hope we are happy after game. Okay, thank you, last coach. So, coach, hi, coach. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing good. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, after the first leg matches, the tickets for the ISL final has been, you know, published. The people can purchase it now. And within hours, so many tickets has been sold out. And most of them has been purchased by Kerala Blasters fans. You know, even the team has not qualified in the finals yet, but fans have purchased the tickets. So what's your feeling on that? Well, it gives us also one kind of uh, extra motivation to try to achieve uh, the final, of course. It's, uh, it's now, uh, you know, the moment where you want to, uh, to act uh, intelligent, intelligently, you want to, to be clever to achieve that final. And, uh, you know, when you're playing, I was just mentioning, when you are playing knockout phase, when you're playing two games confrontation, uh, you must be clever how to approach both games. Must be clever how to achieve results, you know, but because it's about now semifinals and one big chance and nice opportunity to be in the finals. So, of course, if it's later the case, 
we will be uh, very grateful to see that yellow sea in the stadium, you know. Uh, so tomorrow, of course, we'll do our best because having that kind of support and energy uh, from the fans, it gives us extra motivation, especially for tomorrow, especially for the next period. So, uh, you know, it's a great feeling. It's a great uh, joy to see all these uh, videos from, uh, from Kochi, from Kerala after the first game. But, you know, there is one more game we have to be very clever tomorrow. We have to be humble, concentrating on our game, on the things that we want to control tomorrow and try to achieve uh, the qualification. So that's our objective for tomorrow. You know? And then in football, anything's possible. Nobody, I think that nobody uh, predicted and nobody expected us to be here now where we are standing now, uh, especially at the beginning of the season, especially after so many years of disappointment where nobody uh, was uh, saying that this season Kerala Blasters will uh, uh, go uh, long away and that we'll uh, achieve all those things and victories and, uh, let's say, double points than, than last season and so many uh, victories. But, you know, the hard work and the, everything, uh, the commitment that these boys have been showing in the last seven months, it's, it's huge. And I really, uh, it's hats off to them, uh, especially in a bubble, especially with the COVID outbreak later in January. You know, all these things gave us something extra. And now that extra that we are getting from our fans from uh, Kerala, it's, it's enormous. It's enormous motivation. And uh, it gives us more power, more energy for, uh, for the upcoming fishes. And hopefully that we will achieve them for them and that we will give them a more pride and joy. Yeah, indeed. So, uh, hoping that we will be meeting in the uh, press conference before final and hopefully we'll be meeting in Goa as well for the final. We hope so. We hope so. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Yeah, stay safe and all the best for tomorrow's game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Arjuna. Can I have Kaushal's question, please? Yes. Um, hi, coach. Hi, Les coach. Uh, I'm from FWC. Hello. Yes. Uh, so, I'll ask my first question to Les coach. So let's go. Uh, you have been a part of you have been a part of an important uh, defensive uh, unit in the league, and you have started most of the games this season as well. However, uh, tomorrow's game is going to be a very tough test of your abilities. So, how are your preparations going? So I expect the same game like last time. You know, uh, it's a lot of aggressive, a lot of duels, a lot of fights. But we like this game. You know. We are ready for this. We fight all the season. We have a group of players who, who enjoy and uh, give the best for the team, you know. Uh, we have a group of players who is mentally very strong, uh, who give everything for the team. And when, when you have a group of the players like this, it's enjoy to, to play big games and uh, with big pressure, with uh, big tension. And uh, I, I'm sure that we enjoy it Thank you, Les Kovic. Uh, Coach, I have a question for you. Well, the question is very simple. Uh, like, like you said in the last uh, post-match press conference that the game is not over yet. You have 90 more minutes and it's going to be even tougher than the first, uh, first leg of the semifinals because you'll have a lot more of uh, aspects to look into uh, in the second leg. So my question is simple. What would be your message be to the players before the game? Like your question is simple. My answer is simple. Boys, go out and win. <laughs> no. Uh, you know what? In this kind of game, again, it's a pleasure. You know, as a football player, you, you, you find yourself privileged in that kind of situation, playing for the finals, playing for the qualification, and playing for the high stakes. And again, I was mentioning that many times. When you start playing football, when you start practicing you dream about those moments you dream about these games and uh, you know you work so hard every boy is working so hard to achieve to arrive to that moment and it must be a pleasure of course being concentrated being humble being focused on your game being focused on uh, the things that you have to do and uh, to perform on the pitch these kind of things are important tomorrow so of course our message will be like that with certain things that we want to uh, try on the pitch tomorrow with uh, certain movements, runnings, and all these things like the small parts of preparation, like one big puzzle that you want to complete. So tomorrow it will be, let's say, 
uh, a team talk with the you know with the motivation that we are doing it for ourselves that we did we deserve to be here where we are standing now and many people who who are happy with us they deserve to be happy because all the fans and everybody who was supporting us this season and the previous season as well they all deserve they all deserve to see the team where we are standing now and then hopefully that we can let you also reach the finals which is our object yeah very true coach um thank you for your time uh, and all the best to both of you for tomorrow's match thank you very much thank you thank you kaushal can i have shams question please hi coach hi marco good afternoon hello shams from sports stuff coach i actually wanted to ask you this question that you know you said after the last match that um this game is being played at the like maidan <clears throat> which is a different environment different energy in the stadium and i mean there is no home or away advantage so to say in the eyes of this season but does it in any way make it a little more comfortable for you to be playing at your designated home ground in the second like crunch crunch fixture well you know if you see now the the format of you know even uh, the isl league this this season in uh, in uh, in the bubble and now even the semis first of all i find uh, unuseful playing two games in the semis really unuseful because first of all uh like you know we are at the end of the season and everybody is just looking to to end up the season and go home then uh in the bio bubble format throughout the whole season there are no fans nobody has uh the the let's say the feeling that we are playing competition it's like friendly games you're playing in a bubble you're playing without the fans it doesn't give you correct feeling about football competition okay and now playing two games in the semis really like unuseful because there are no fans so no need i was also uh, saying before that uh, maybe with one game it's it's not because of every, all, all the teams everybody's tired everybody's uh, full of everything you know even after the new year there was no time to to practice and to train and then uh, on top of that there was the covid outbreak and all those things like uh let's say provoked the situation today like we are in the last week we have to manage that correctly we have to manage that we go through it without the uh, injuries of course being ready for uh, two semi finals and uh, later on if it's possible for the finals we will do our best to achieve that but you know if we speak about home and away games with full stadiums playing home away it's it's different story it's different story because of course if you have that 12 men uh, from our fans and atmosphere in our home ground in kochi that's that's different that's completely different that's something else and then you can you can count like 100% now in this situation we are playing for in metro we are playing in the stadiums now tomorrow we play our home stadium because the the extra goal uh, uh, let's say on a way uh, uh, field like this was the case there like we cannot count on it so tomorrow again we have to achieve positive result in order to to qualify so we are playing again in front of no one so empty stadium and again we'll have to go through it it's a weird situation this year it's a weird uh, atmosphere it's a weird but we are doing our best we will do our best tomorrow try to achieve it so hopefully for the best and hopefully that it will never ever happen again that you play in front of empty stadiums thank you coach wish you all the best for the game tomorrow good luck to you tomorrow thank you sham can i have joseph's question please uh, hi coach uh, hi marco uh, i just had uh, one question uh, uh, for the coach I actually wanted to bring your attention to a comment from uh, Jamshedpur FC coach uh, Avin Coyle regarding uh, them playing the first leg at Fatoda when uh, the Bambulim is their designated home ground and he mentioned after the game how uh, playing at a different venue other than their designated uh, home ground uh, put them in a dis- disadvantageous position uh, from the start I just wanted to know your opinion on this like the Tilak Maidan has been your designated home ground this season but for instance uh you are asked to play different venue uh, venue will it make any difference uh, given the lack of fans and uh, this is anyway a neutral ven- venue for all the teams uh, does it make any difference actually for us no because uh, even if you speak about fatorda in the last game 
fator da is uh, geographically, fator da is the longest ride for us for uh, for the game. Actually, we have to drive almost two hours to reach Fatorda. Uh, also, our home ground is not that close to our hotel. And like living in a bubble and uh, driving around, playing on these stadiums, again, empty stadiums, and three stadiums. So if you speak about Tilak, Fatorda, and Bambolim, you know, they're not our stadiums. We're just using them. And all these, and throughout the ISL, everybody was playing on all three stadiums. So. It doesn't give you a feeling that you're playing home or away. It's the same. You just change the dressing rooms. You just change the... The only thing that changes, like if you have to drive one hour and a half, two hours, or that's all. You know, uh, playing in one or other stadium, of course, maybe someone has a, a good or less good feeling, but for me, it's the same. I don't see a difference. Really, I don't see a difference playing in any of those stadiums. Thanks, coach, and uh, good luck for the game tomorrow. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. Do, do we have any more questions? Joseph, do you have one more uh, question? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. If there's no one, I'll just go uh, with Marco one one question. Uh, you captained uh, Kerala Blasters in their final league game against FC Goa. Uh, You've also missed only two games this season for them. Uh, one because of a suspension and another uh, against Odisha you missed. Uh, I just wanted to know if you could sum up your season so far in India here. Uh, how, how have you been enjoying? Of course, uh, you've been away from Pochi, which would have been a different experience altogether. Uh, but uh, play, playing with this squad together, we're doing such a great things, uh, uh, creating history, creating records on the run. Uh, how, how, if you could sum up your season. Uh, first, it's a big pleasure to be captain uh, from Kerala Blasters, you know, for one game. It's a big pleasure for me, thanks coach and everybody. But, uh, you know, uh, what I said before, we, we have a very good season. We play all season high level. It's not only, 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 I don't want to speak about me or some individual players. We are a group of the team who who show character, mentality, very strong. And uh, this is one of the big reasons why we are here. You know, I don't like to speak about individual player or about me. Uh, we deserve to be here. We have tomorrow a very important game, what I said before, and we will give the best. Thanks, Marco. Thank you, Joseph. So uh, let's wrap today's uh, PC. Thank you all for joining. Good luck, coach. Good luck, Neskovic, for tomorrow's match. Thank you. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you. bye.